All right. My question is, is it possible to force the enemies? Ah, look at that. Did they really go up there? Hang on, we got to try it. He does. <laughs> I've never tested this before. We theoretically... Double barricade. Um. Yeah, we could do double barricade, actually. We can do one up here and then one over there on that side. Let's see. I want to make sure we take care of all these guys. Yeah, you might be right, because the sides of the... of the thing... Uh-oh. One of them made it through. That's okay. Like, I actually have prescription, which I don't. But I thought about, you know, popping those on and... Speaking in my nerd voice. You know, then going going up to the whiteboard and drawing out traps and diagrams and well, I also thought about doing maps where it, where I could show he bring up like this little mini map that we have and like show a, where I put barricades, kill boxes, I don't know stuff like that, routing patterns. But Okay. Sit on my neck. Put this around my neck so you can't find it. Oh. Nope. More enemies in the rift. Finish them off. The room was there. We're gonna have those going backwards, and then once we get to this point, we're gonna have them, the rest of them going uh, forwards into the kill box. Although, with the amount of cating and bouncing around it does, I don't think it's gonna matter too much. Which direction we have it facing. Eventually, we're going to have enough sappers to just attack one and kill them all. Eventually. Okay. Oh, absolutely. Ah, you have no idea. <laughs> oh, yes. This map plus boom barrels, I mean, you already know. Look at that. You could definitely stack two of them where in place of that butterfly trap and then have other stuff here. Easy. More enemies on the way. A beautiful hallway to do that in is coastal hallways. More on um, you the can way. route, you can essentially route everything through the one hallway. Um, and it's amazing. Uh, okay, so what do we do here? We do R. Brimstone. Then we'd have Tar. Tar, and then we have Tar. Yep. Yeah, there we go. Enemies at the rift. But coastal hallways, that hallway is a uh, is a square shape. Um, yeah, assault by themselves are just absolutely ridiculous. 
I mean, without them, uh, going in on Sundays would be difficult. Um, but yeah, I thought this was going to be more of a challenge than what it is. Um, it's really not too bad. You know? Doing that bad at all. As a matter of fact, I wonder if it would be feasible or possible. I think so. I think you could put archers up here and they might be able to shoot down here. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. There are enemies in our rift room. Not starting to see that one wrong. Enemies at the rift. They're almost there. Okay. So we will do our There are enemies in our rift room. Um, yeah, we'll do, we'll do those, like that. Alright, cool. We've almost got the floor filtered out. Do we have, yeah, we do, okay. That's, I got worried there for a second that the, this barricade may have been too close to the pillar, but it looks like it's fine. Plus, the uh, enemy would have attacked it by now anyways. Especially the ability to toss orcs over barricades worried me. Yeah. Um, that's one of the reasons I don't use them either. Um, but yeah, I can bring up the Aqueducts uh, gameplay real quick and show you. I know we're going to have some sappers come out here, but it's not going to be for a little bit. Let me see here. Uh, how do I search my own stuff? <laughs> I think I know how to do this. Uh, here we go. Videos and this Aqueducts. Let me see if I can. Yeah, so for here, for example, um, on this wall, I started placing haymakers towards the edge because I had the barricades going up and in. Um, that's because fire elementals showed up from the right, and so the idea was to hopefully like freeze them before they got through or whatever. Um, but before that, oh, I thought I had sappers on this. I guess not. Um. For that, though, for the centerpiece, you can see I put in the middle, I put haymakers. On the sides, I put grinders. So the haymakers, well, the grinders have a have a one and a half range. So they technically affect everything throughout the entire thing. So a grinder here would affect flyers flying next to the haymaker. But it pushes them sideways, and uh, and that just helps with the damage that they're going to take from everything. So um, nothing else really makes too much sense. But the flyers in aqueducts only pass down the center. Um... So, that's what I used them for. I used them here. Alright, we're on way 25. We've made it. Barricade challenge is nuts. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, if I was to make like a... What to buy with your skulls, your first purchase as a, like a new player, I would definitely say the stone staff is number one. Jay well spike wall pinball maneuver also sounds like a good track combination. Well, you know, while they're prone, I'm assuming this is true. I haven't actually been able to test it, but I'm assuming because when you're flying, it suspends that um, the uh, the combo the combo counter. It just suspends that cooldown, which is uh, two seconds. According to the tooltips, it's two seconds. Um, I would imagine that if they're prone, because they still take double damage while they're knocked down, um, that it also remains suspended for the, uh, for the combo duration. So you could end up getting a, a lot of combos there with that. Okay, I got one left. One left. Here, let's hit this. I didn't take care of him. There we go. Took care of him. Okay.
the way. No better spot than here. Yeah, the stone staff is really good. Now the the um the one upgrade you can get is to double the range. And I've actually got this information on the wiki. Um it's one of the things I tested quite a bit. I can pull it up because I actually have a uh a screenshot or I don't know. Um not a screenshot, but a uh a gif a gif of the stone staff other uh secondary. So if you hit him like this after a brief delay, they'll jump up, and that can actually be used um, pretty effectively, I think. Um, because sometimes if you stone enemies, they'll get stuck uh, behind, like regular enemies will get stuck behind them. But if you hit them with the stone and knock them up, other enemies can like filter their way in uh, as a possibility. But the second the second upgrade, it just it doubles the range, which is just in incredible. So the amount of mana that costs, absolutely crazy. Um, does brittle apply to all weapons? So, uh, just physical damage weapons. Um, the stone and the ice for somebody to be brittle. They don't ever tell you that's the, that the stone staff does that, but the stone staff does increase the physical damage they take. However, when they're frozen, they take bonus ice damage as well as physical damage. So I don't think they tell you that either. From my tests that I found, uh, they, they do.